Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So far for this week, we sitting at $136.28 on the Walmart Spark app. Haven't done any Uber Eats yet this week, but I'm ready to get it in. It's actually dinner time right now, and I'm expecting some orders to start rolling through. I also turned on Grubhub, but my main focus right now is Walmart Spark. I like doing these shopping delivery orders over here, and I want to try to make $1,000 a week with just Walmart Spark. But here's the thing. Today's already the third, and this week is going to be over on the 8th. Now, it's still some time to put in some work on Spark, but it might be a stretch trying to hit that thousand at this point. We're going to see how much we can make, and I'm going to start off next week with that thousand dollar goal at the front of mine. But starting off today, I did get three nice little orders on Walmart Spark, and we're going to go over those real quick. The first order that I did today was actually a Sam's Club order. That's where I'm sitting at right now. Came in at $18.51 for 11 miles. Now, before you lose your seat, it was taking me in the direction I wanted to go to the Walmart that I wanted to start my day off at, right? Because we all got, you know, our own little game plan when we start out. I wanted to start off at a different Walmart so that I could maximize out there. Well, guess what? Things didn't turn out so great. I got out there. I got Nathan. But you know what? It's all good, though, because you got to have a backup plan. And my backup plan was to turn on them other apps. And I did that. But it didn't matter, though, because Sam's Club hit me with another offer, $19.44 for nine miles, knocked it out of the ballpark, head on back over to Walmart, end up getting super, super, super lucky. Got one of the biggest shopping deliver orders I didn't seen in a long time. $57 and what's that? 42 cents. Yes, sir. Three Walmart Spark orders got me to my daily goal of $100. And that was just for today. Now, I'm out again for the evening shift because I got some bills to pay and I'm FDA. So I said, you know what? Let me see if I can get me a couple shopping orders, maybe, you know, a couple food delivery orders late night. We're going to see what we can do. Okay, so we got a little bit of action. Order came in $7. Look, order came in $7.79, three miles. But it's two pickups and it's two customers. So I had myself thinking like, hold on, okay, if this was a stack on DoorDash and it came in at $7.75 for three miles, two customers, would I take that? Well, on DoorDash, the base pay is $2, right? And the base pay on Uber is different. But what I'm thinking is the miles to money ratio is there. I don't got another order yet. I took it. Hawaiian Bros is a curbside pickup. They bring it right out to you. Now, the other pickup is, let's go ahead and have a look. For this light chain the other pickup is firehouse subs that's right across from hawaiian but you know what i'm cool with this both drop offs are right on top of each other this gives me something to do it fits my miles to money ratio parameters two to one but it's actually four uh, th uh four to one no it's not four to one it's two to one it fits my miles to money ratio parameters so sh should i have declined this i don't know but i know that this seven dollars almost eight do got a possibility to go up just a little possibility and it's keeping me within my zone to where i can possibly get a spark order which is where the real money is I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out real quick if nothing else i'll make back a little bit of this gas money that i just spent on that sam's club trip and now walmart spark sent me an offer ten dollars for eight miles two customers i said oh my goodness that is not the round robin i was hoping for now let's see they sending me another one right now $12, two miles. Now that's something I can take. How you doing, boss? I'm picking up for Bryce on Uber Eats. Okay, uh, as, soon as, get, as soon as it's ready, I'll bring it out to yes, you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Right. Now look at that. We got $12 for two miles, curbside pickup at $5.50. Now that I can take because they give me time to knock these out real quick. And now I got an order on Spark giving me the miles to money ratio that I'm looking for. It's not gonna be ready for, what, 27 more minutes. Let's go ahead and accept that. Hold on, don't reject it. There we go, boom. Now we got something waiting for us to keep our wheels rolling. Now, if I can get these two orders dropped off fairly quickly, I can make my way back and possibly get one more and then head over and pick up my little $12 order going two miles, one customer. That other order was $10, eight miles, two customers. Both of them probably had no tip on them, but no, we're not rocking like that. We only delivering to tipping customers. So if you're not putting a tip on that order, guess what? It might be cold. Hell, you might not get it at all. So you might as well throw a couple of dollars on there. They already charging you double, triple the price. Oh, you cool with paying double and triple, right? But you don't want a tip. Go ahead, throw a tip on there so it don't be no issues. We oh. Hawaiian bros did not disappoint. They brung that thing right out. He said, I gotta, I gotta wait for it to be ready. He went in, came right back out with that thing. We got it. So now we heading over here to Firehouse Subs. And I'm pretty sure they're gonna have this one ready because they two low ball offers, to be honest with you. If they were split up, 
It'll be 350 for three miles, 350 for three miles, something like that. So this order probably ready. I could be wrong, but again, this I got something to keep my wheels rolling. You know, if it's two, three, four minutes, no big deal. In another situation, it might it might be a big deal. But right now, I didn't set myself up in a situation where I'm maximizing my time, no matter if they a little slow or not. All right, guys, we made it to firehouse. Let's see if they got this ready. Why the customer name is Chris La First name Chris, last initial P. That motherfucker placed the order under Crispy. I say you got one for Crispy <laughs> and another one for Soggy. Stop playing with me. So we got to find this customer. I don't know where this address is at. Let's see, what's this right here? This is 242. That's two. Okay, so 232 got to be this way. I guess we're going to have to leave the car right there. Hopefully it'll be good. But let's see, which address is 232? Two. Okay, so it's this one right here. Okay, so it's going right here. Boom, on the upper floor. We found it. See, I gotta go up these steps. And this one requires a pin number. Lucky us. What's the pin number? The pin is 4,383. 4,383. Boom. Man, these people be worried as hell. Maybe he was sick or something. I get it. But God damn it, what's the code? Tell me out here. Tell me the damn code through the door. I... All right. Order number two on Spark. We got $16 for 5.9. Almost six miles. Look, it's getting cold. Yeah, it's like 30 something. It might even be below 32 degrees now. But let's head up in here. This one gonna give us an additional 16 bucks. Yep, thank you, shopping cart person. Let me cross the street. It's only like seven items on this one, so it's really small. And I'm glad because with it going six miles away, it just barely hit the miles to money ratio. And with it being low items, it make it easy. Get in, get out, get it done. Look at that, in and out. Now all I gotta do now is not get hit by a car. That was easy to shop for, easy, easy. And I even had a chance to use the restroom because I've been holding it for a couple hours, but we good to go now. Order number three, stop playing with me. Let's see if we can hurry up and make it back before 6.30 and get order number four. All right, all right. We made it to our delivery destination. Boy, that Michael Myers in that window just scared the heck out of me. And you know what? Look at that, they left the door open for me. You can't ask for nothing better because these apartments be locked a lot of times. And we gotta go to the top floor. We're going to 302. Got here to get up there. I'm trying to get back and make some money. Almost bust my head. All right. What is 302? I think that's 302. Oh, it must be trash day, goddamn. Damn, All right, so we didn't quite get it done by 6.30, but the time is now 6.40. So we still got about two, two and a half hours left of deliveries that's gonna be out there. Let's see if we can get something that meets our parameters and make a little bit more money. We're currently sitting there. Let's see, that was 16. Woo! Then we had a 12. That made 28. Then we had a $7 Uber. We had like 35 bucks for the night. We've been out for like an hour and 25, hour 30 minutes. Not bad. I'm out of breath because I'm FDA. Let's get this money. Next up, $15 for two miles, but it's gone that fast. As soon as I started my clip, it's already gone. It was 15 bucks, two miles, but you know what? It's all good. I actually wasn't even going to take it anyways because it's going to the wrong Walmart. It was going to the Wood River Walmart, and we was out there earlier today, but it's the nighttime. I'm not driving 10 miles up to a different Walmart at this time because then I'm going to be losing precious delivery time, and you're only going to have to about eight, p.m. on most nights sometimes some deliveries will go out a little bit past eight and you may get lucky and catch something big with some good tips on it about nine o'clock but usually you want to count on being able to deliver until about the last drop at 7 45 or 8 o'clock if you get an asap and you get lucky so you know what i'm not trying to take no chances and drive far away if i only make 50 bucks over here i'm cool 
but I don't want to drive away for a good order and then that be the only order I get for the rest of the night. I'd rather save my gas and my energy and my time and just hit it hard another day. All right, so I'm actually finna have to go ahead and call myself a hypocrite on this one because I'm changing my plans up. I just said that I was not finna drive to Wood River, but guess what? We on our way to Wood River. I just got a round robin offer. 15 bucks, two miles, and I checked the item count. It's five items. Now, the reason I decided to change up my game plan and go back on what I just said, I just checked the GPS. I'm 12 minutes away from the Wood River Walmart, and guess what? I'm 10 minutes away from the one I just did this shopping order at. So that means I'm pretty much the same distance from each Walmart. I'm, I'm, at that, I'm at a point in my area where I don't normally be, and I'm actually right in between perfectly. Well, both Walmarts. So I'm not even losing no gas or no time because here's the thing. They sent me this as a round robin offer, meaning that this is my offer. This is my offer right here. Now you can get more than one round robin, but when it's slow and you ain't getting a lot of offers, you may only get that one. So the order I just declined before was an ASAP order for the same Walmart that I'm heading to. And now that I realize that I'm not that far away, I'm gonna be taking this round robin because I got a good feeling I'm gonna be able to get another ASAP order out there. So I'm not really gambling and risking and hoping that I get two orders. I'm fairly confident now with them sending me this order with the good miles to money ratio, low item count, and me already rejecting two previous orders that weren't too bad. They just wasn't nothing that I could guarantee myself additional work with. I said, you know what? That's a win. I'm gonna knock this one out, and then I think I'm better to get one more because we still got two hours of delivery time. And like I said, I'm 12 minutes away from this one, 10 minutes away from the other one. And if this one got more orders, that's gonna be a better place. Made it to Walmart, and it ain't even take us 12 minutes to get up here. We got up here in 10 minutes. We about to go up in here. We shopping for all grocery Two items, things, guys. We chilling, things. and I just listened to that rock star, so I'm ready to go. Let's get it. So we got one, two, three, four items. All I thought right, it was five, let's go. Delivery destination, it was super close to Walmart, man. Okay, nice, nothing better. Front door service. There we go, let's stand those up. Don't want them falling over. Let's get that picture. Boom. Come on, take the picture. Boom, there we go. There we go. Order number three in the books. Now I need another order. Walmart Spark, go ahead and hook me up. We right here by the Wood River. Go ahead and hook me up. I'm gonna stay on too, see if they send me something right away. Cause that's really what I'm hoping for. It's a right away order. The time right now is 7.15. So, yeah, if they send me one right now before the drop, that'll be perfect, especially if it end up being a shop order. I'm right now at 726. So we were sitting at 38 and we got that $15 order done. That set us at about 53. And we just got our next one. Might be the last one of the night. Probably is. Because it's a curbside pickup, 745. Two customers. We got $15.78 for 5.7 miles. The only thing that's bad, miles to money ratio good. Both customers tipped. It's curbside, so that's kind of bad because they kind of whack up her. But it's also like taking me further away from home. But it's one of them situations where you kind of gambling if you decline something like this because it's three to one. It check off like four out of five boxes, honestly. But that one box it don't check off, and with the time it is at night, you may not get the, the drop was at seven twenty. It's seven twenty seven right now. So every order that's coming through after I decline that first one. You know, you lucky to get that. So I went on and took this one. I'm going to go ahead and wait. And then all the others had a, 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 a pickup time of 8.05. So you literally would have been waiting like 40 minutes for a low ball offer. So I said, no, I don't want none of them. Let me wait for a shop. Didn't get a shop, but I got a curbside. They got a pickup on the 45 minute mark of the hour, which is the normal pickup time for curbside pickup. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pull over there and I'm going to wait my little 15 minutes because you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and start editing, editing this video down. And that way I'm using the most of my time and I'm not just wasting time waiting on the order. Cause I do, I do despise that. I hate wasting time waiting on them to bring me out of curbside. I would much rather be multi-apping, doing some food delivery or better yet, I would even, you know, consider doing shopping orders instead of waiting 20 minutes for them to prepare an order. I would consider doing a shopping order. But in this situation right here, you don't have all them all them luxuries or conveniences, you gotta take what you can get. And I'm trying to hit this goal. I already hit my daily goal, but now we working our way into the secondary goal, the profit for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out. This is gonna put me at about what? 68 bucks on this on this little part of our day, on this little evening part of our dash. Well, and I've been up for what? Two hours. We made it to our delivery destination, but uh, it's just a little bit too dark to see. 
But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have a peek at these numbers up here once we get up there. Because I need to make sure I'm delivering to the right spot. That's for sure. So let's see. One, two, three. Let's just go ahead and have a peek. Make sure we're going to the right spot. Because I see no mailbox, no address. Oh, there we go. We good. We got the right spot, guys. Let's go ahead and set that there. Let me get the rest of these bags. I could have could have probably grabbed them all at one time. But I would hate to bring them all back looking for the right address so we're just going to go ahead and do it like this oh what's that one two three more bags oh man these walmart employees love just throwing this stuff in here no consideration look now i'm dropping my phone because i got to rebag items Perfect. all right one two Three. Let's get them up to the door. Now the time is 8.03. Unless they got crazy amount of orders up here. I think this is probably going to be my last one of the night. Because this is drop off number one. And we got to drop off the other one too. Let's get that picture. Oh Boy. my goodness, man. It'd be I so hard to see them numbers sometimes. Them numbers is itty bitty up there at that door. That's crazy. All right, let's get that scanned in. Let's set you up right there. And let's get this stuff up to the floor. Yep, can carry all this at one time. Don't need to make two trips. Not for this one. made it this far in the video you the real mvp stop playing with me make sure you stay tuned to the channel for the giveaway even though i'm already past 13k i told y'all i got bills to pay but you know what we had some generous generous donations from at peru invest so we're gonna be doing a much larger giveaway than the original hundred dollars that we anticipated we was gonna be giving away we're probably gonna be doing like a 200 dollars giveaway maybe splitting it up so we can have multiple winners we're doing it big but look for this evening shift we worked three hours. We worked a little bit more than three hours because that last one had me a little bit past eight o'clock and I started at five, but we did good though. We made what, 68 bucks in those three hours? Not the best, not the worst, but guess what? More than 20 bucks an hour and I can dig it. So guess what? We finna go ahead and end it right there. Make sure you watch this next video that YouTube got up here and make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button for me. Come on now, 20K subscribers this year, that's the goal. And I'll catch you in the next one.